<laughs> okay, so this, so it'll be my my fifth, and you're okay. Oh, no, no, you're no. Starting it off. Okay, no. no, I got it. I got it. Uh, yeah, that was that was not a good way to start this podcast. Yeah. My name's Curtis. My name is Alex. Uh, my name is Curtis Blaze. My name is Alex Barnes. And you're listening to the number one podcast. A little experiment we're going to try. Uh, to tell you about what happens at city council meetings faster than having to wait until this weekend for me to tell you, or God, next week reading, sometime for the paper a long, to tell you. Long article. <laughs> so we uh, we did three meetings tonight. We did we did uh, Old Old City Council. We did the uh, Lytton City Council, and eh, in a way, which I might or might not explain later, we did the Lakeview City Council. Rest assured, the city council is in the bag. At Lakeview. So Alex went to the Lytton City Council. First time ever? I think it might have been. What did you think I, of the room? I, I've never been in the room. It, was, it wasn't it was the smallest room I think I've ever been in. I think that would have been the Kids World one. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm that pretty is sure smaller. it was bigger than the Kids World one. Yeah. Did they, and, uh, did, were, were, you, were you stuck underneath the coat rack on the, on the uncomfortable metal chair? I like, was on the, the one for kids? The, the one next to the hat rack? Yeah. 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 That's where I was on the brown... The brown steel chair, yeah. The, the Very brown uncomfortable steel chair. Yeah, yeah. steel chair. Well, well, everybody got their nice green padded chairs. Well, they are the city council members. Of course. You weren't elected to be there. You're just you're just sticking your nose in. <laughs> it's true. So what happened when you got there? Uh, well, the first thing, I, I you know, because it was the first time I'd been at Lynn, I uh, didn't know whether or not the meeting had started or not or any of that. So I just started... The recording right off the bat until about three minutes in when I realized the meeting had not started. Oh, well, that's just so, that's just bonus meeting. Yeah. What happened? Uh, they started talking about this guy who they didn't... One, some, one person brought it up, and they apparently saw this guy uh, painting white lines across the street, and he didn't know who that guy was. And that's that's what I think the three minutes of bonus... <laughs> R. So there's a guy. There's a guy in Linton. Uh, painting, got painting, out the paint can, painting, painting white, lines. Wi- white lines across the street, like 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 walking, like pedestrian uh, walks, crosswalks. I'm not sure. Uh. I wasn't. See, I'm I'm paying enough attention to get details where I can like tell what they're talking about. <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> so what's the next thing that uh, that really stuck out? Um. I think it was when I turned off the camera and waited for the meeting to actually start. Yeah, that's the boring part. I'm talking about what happened at the meeting. Well, let's see. The first thing, they started the meeting. And the next thing I remember, they started paying bills. Yeah, they uh, they actually do this thing at Lytton that I kind of dig a little bit. Where, uh, uh, okay, at, at all the other city council meetings, what they do is they, uh, at some point during the two weeks or the month before they meet, Someone is designated to sign all the bills and to look them over and to make sure they're okay, which uh, is not in the spirit of open meetings. Not really, you know. That's uh, that's in a way that's deliberation that's happening outside of the public view. You know, that means we have to trust this one single guy. In Sac City's case, it's uh, I think it's Jim Johnson. In in Early's case, I'm not even going to be able to come up with the guy's name. But the point is. The Linton City Council, they actually just scoot their chairs right the hell up to the desk there yeah. and start going through the bills and signing them. They, they, approve the, uh, they approve the bills and they approve the signing. Was there, anything that, uh, was there anything they talked about that stuck out to you or anything that was contentious? I, I do know that they were talking about, they were tying, while they were paying the bills, because there were two of them up at the desk of the clerk and they were paying the bills. And I know they talked about something, but I'm not sure what it was because at the same time, Right next to me and across from me, two other people were talking. In fact, it might have been three people talking much <laughs> louder than the people at the clerk's desk who were paying the bills. And they were talking about this lady's son's house or something like that. <laughs> what about the house? I do not know. Like, well, this may, this may be, I may be getting this mixed, this mixed up with something that they ended up talking about later on because there was another, there was another discussion about, this one person's this this apparently young man who uh, made a bid for this house that supposedly that they said was worth uh, pretty much nothing. Uh, he made a, he made a bid for 
the house for about four four thousand dollars, but he got turned down because the people selling it wanted eleven thousand, and it, it was the city council person's opinion that it was worth nothing. Oh yeah, nice that it wasn't even worth the four thousand. Nice. Um, but I'm pretty sure that were, was a different discussion. Were there any? Did okay? Did any of the public actually show up? I think. Yeah, I think there was some public because they needed a, a, to sign for a, they needed to get permission to to move the shed that they wanted. Uh, this is like during the property. building permits. This was during I think uh, recognizing visitors or something like that. Did they happen to say their name? I believe they said their first name. <gasps> Let's go to the tape. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Uh, when they were paying the bills, these two or three other people there were conversing with each other while the others were the, conversing. These about. are the people that were talking talking over like the, the, yeah, the, the official conversation. And uh it was Were they were they city council people? Yes they were. I believe they were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah I'm pretty sure they were. Okay. Go on. And one of the stories was basically this this lady's father shoveled shit while her mother's parties were going on. That was a that was that was a good chunk of the conversation that went on while they they were in, while they were conversing over the bill paying conversation. So it was the uh, it was a talk about the the guy buying the worthless house and the no no that came that came later oh. when they weren't interrupting what was going on. Oh okay okay <laughs> nice. That's yeah that's much that's much more clear. Well anyway I uh, I went back and I reviewed the reviewed the tape and uh, the guy's name is Neil. Yes, the, the guy's first, name is the Neil. first visitor. The first, uh, the first wall. Yes, as we he, were talking he about. He introduces earlier. the wall, which is at least a half hour long. Now it's not really a wall. They're, no, they're talking about it's a metaphorical wall. <laughs> they're talking about they're talking about sewage, as as always happens at uh, city council meetings. At least city council meetings where they talk about stuff. Not could, the, it not the be, Zach City Council. It could meeting. be tile. <laughs> it could be. Bills, piles of dirt that people don't want piles on their property. Of dirt. Piles of Very dirt common. that people wish was still on their property. So these guys were talking about. I actually know a little bit about this. Uh, they were talking about their force main. There's there's some sort of uh, plugging going on. Yes, the the ter- they said that there was either an air bubble. Yeah. Or a quote two by four unquote, which oh, was sure. yeah. the term that they used in. In placement of uh, any type of clog. Okay, so um, no, they actually think it might be a two by four clogging well, the thing up. He, he very specifically he he kept he kept pointing out this that is, this it, is the Neil fellow. Yes, he kept pointing out that he was just using two by four as a placeholder. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he he didn't want to actually say there's a two by four in there. Well, at last month's meeting they were saying there's a two by four in there. Well, so, he must have been using the same. Anyway, this is or, this is blocking the uh, this is blocking the sewage from getting to the lagoon. There is a yeah. L- let's see. He said that the the way it was coming out was that somewhere down the line, there was only five inches of of stuff getting through there. Five inches or or feet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Exactly what measurement that was. Well, it's good that you were paying attention. <laughs> I know it was five. Nice. It was five something. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we could, we could uh, yes, go we, listen we to the entire the audio to forty to. minute conversation. Yes. We or could do that. you could just tell us what happened. Um. So 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 they get to the end of this conversation. There's a bunch of stuff blocked. This guy Neil is. By the way, this guy Neil is he a homeowner? Is he a, a citizen? I, or is he like a contractor? I think he's a plumber. You think he's a plumber? Okay. I think he's a plumber because somebody else mentioned whether or not they had seen a, another plumber. Fair enough. Fair enough. The, but I'm uh, not sure. So they get to the end of this conversation. It's 30 minutes later. What What do they decide? Uh, they approve. They approve. They approve him. Doing stuff which he mentioned, which I can't discuss because you wanted to get to the end of it. <laughs> it's a lot. What he it, talks what, a lot okay, about. Okay, I talks apologize. Lot, I apologize. He talks what do lot, they want him to do? He talks a lot about narrowing down where this bubble or clog may be, and uh, whether or not he can use this uh, 
this blaster or something like that. I think it had the word blast somewhere in it, uh, <laughs> yeah. which which could uh, shoot clogs out. It's or okay. Something what you're like trying to describe from, is from, it, it's from, a water blaster. It, from, it, it's yeah. a blast of water. Yeah, something like right. that from a range of at least 800 feet or inches or whatever the measurement <laughs> was. <laughs> But at least wow. 800. So, you, can so tell, you can tell it's your first time so running were, up against a conversation yeah. about sewers. So there was also, there was also talk about having to, uh, to, to take at least 1,000 feet of pipe or sewer or whatever it was. And then for the extra, you know, so that they had the 800 and plus, so that they could run around other pipes so that they can, you know bypass and then do what they need to do and fascinating it is and well, you know i'm what? sure it's I, enhanced by my <laughs> vast understanding of <laughs> sewage and uh sewage related things so what was the motion that they made uh to give permission to check out because he wanted to narrow down where the uh where the clog or the bubble might be so they gave him permission to find out because he wanted, I don't know, something about tapping the the pipes to find out and try to get closer to figuring out where exactly this thing was. And there's a point somewhere, see, they think that maybe when they were putting in something for the piping, that somehow it's possible that maybe, theoretically, somehow... <laughs> A piece of cement might have somehow gotten into the piping, but they really think that maybe it isn't, and hope not, 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 because that because that would be worse. Because that would be a two by four. Because because the water blaster wouldn't be able to do anything about that. Water blasters are uh, not very useful against pieces of concrete. Yeah, that are jammed like, in the pipe. Like he mentioned, if it was a two by four, that the blaster would be able to get through that but cement would be a problem ah. it would be a kink in their plan so you told me something in the uh, in the pre-show meeting that kind of intrigued me a little bit there's this building permit for the Ericsons uh, and something about possums getting shot well, what, talk, what the hell is all that well they talk about how they're going to need to put something up or around the shed so that you know, critters or varmints or vermin or critters. Oh, wait a minute. What, what is the shed? What is the shed? Uh, there, well, this is it's the... pretty complicated because it has to do with the guy uh, having a midlife crisis, getting a motorcycle, not being able to fit it in his garage. Well, it doesn't sound complicated. And then, uh, Sounds like he had a midlife crisis and didn't and have room for his he's motorcycle. A bad He's a bad carpenter. He's bad at shingling. So apparently he went on Craigslist and he got himself a portable shed. And uh, and, he, and he brings it back and the and the council approves him putting this thing up. Yes, they do. What? What? Where do the possum come in? It's somewhere in between where they're t basically they're talking about they're, how they're going to have to put something up or around the. Uh, the shed so that n nothing could get underneath it and through this discussion they start talking about uh it was either a raccoon or a possum that hangs around one of their porches like one of the councilman's porches and then another council person brings up a story that was uh apparently popular on either television or the internet about this woman who had shot this raccoon and or possum, well, not and, just or possum, <laughs> in the head three times, and it apparently lived. Somebody found it and apparently put up a re reward to find out whoever had shot it in the head three times, and this person also tried to rehabilitate it Ugh. with, like, these... Huge how, how far into the it. meeting? How far into the meeting are you at this point? At this point, uh, at least an hour. Oh man, what were you? What were you doing? I was watching and listening, because <laughs> at this point, my job, which was 
pretty much just to make sure I changed the batteries had been fulfilled. <laughs> Your life support role complete. Yes. Because by that time, let's see. The batteries didn't die until about a half hour in. And then the meeting ended just short of an hour. So I didn't have to make sure. I'm not sure if it was the camera that turns off after an hour of recording. But I didn't have to worry because it didn't record for an hour. Because I think it came up to about 56 minutes after the battery change. Before well, uh, they adjourned. I've seen here. I, I pulled up the agenda while you've been babbling. And uh, I'm noticing that like there isn't any sort of thing on there for approving approving oh, well, building permits or anything. Well, they were a visitor. Oh, that's their version of Oh man, that's pretty That's uh that's really stretching the yeah. the spirit of the law out. Well, technically the visitors Did they, the did visitor, they approve anything else well, during recognizing the visitors? Visitors? Well, yeah, the whole plumbing thing about the pipes was a visitor. Neil was a visitor. They recognize the visitors. The first one is Neil, and then he goes oh, on is... for a half hour or so about the plumbing. <laughs> that is really cheap. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That is all underneath yeah. recognizing vi- visitors. Holy crap. Okay, well, uh, God, you know, okay. So this is like an hour they spend that's not on the, uh, not on the agenda. Just doing, yeah. just approving, uh, Jesus, just breaking the law, really. Well, anyway, so... Okay, uh, the pipes, the the building permit, what else? What else did they do that wasn't on the agenda? Okay, let's see, during the visitor thing. Gee, I don't know. I think, I think the five houses that needed water turned off at, I think that might have also have been during the visitor thing. I, I think that might have happened during that because Rusty, Rusty was there, and they asked Rusty if he's got anything. And I think that's how they brought it up. Yeah, they're really getting... Because they used to have a place on that where they would talk about, you know, people that needed their water turned off. So they did that tonight. Because I was looking at the agenda going, oh, they're not going to turn anyone's water off tonight. Crazy. Oh, just a little aside. I'm always, I'm kind of impressed by the town of Lytton when it comes to this. They, uh, they do openly talk about how they're going to shut people's water off and, and, and services and whatever. But they've assigned everybody codes. Really? Yeah. Did you notice that they were talking about, like, you know, customer number XXX? I think that might have come. I really don't know. I mean, other than the people who lived at the house that they had to, that they assumed, the house that they assumed they had turned off the water already, but Mm -hmm. people were still living in, I don't think that had a code name. And then there was another place where the people had already moved out. Like like they already knew who they were talking about, so they didn't have to refer to them by code. I think so. It's just funny I mean, to watch other. It. It's funny to watch other councils struggle with that. They're going, "Oh, you know who I'm talking about? You yeah. know, at you know whose house?" And it's all conspiratorial. And it's like, "Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, guys! Just just say the name or say the address or whatever." Just yeah, I'm not sure if they did any code words today. <laughs> okay, so uh, so they did that. They did the the water shutting off. Anything else they did that wasn't on the agenda? I think that. Might be it. I think it, I think it was the the pipe blockage with Neil, the uh, portable shed, shed with the Ericsons. with the Ericsons, and then the five people who need the water turned off with Rusty. <laughs> and then and then the uh, oh, did we tell this story on the air about the about the woman whose dad just tortured the mom by shoveling shit during the party? Oh yeah, I think we did that about half. Okay, halfway. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Christ, so. So we're like an hour in now, and I, I, okay, the next thing on the agenda is, is approving Sparky's cigarette permit application and beer application. Oh yeah, that went pretty quick. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, but they, they, uh, they, they, they did, to, they they did approve to, it, just yes, for they, the record. They had to split it into two movements. If you work at Sparky's. They had to split it into two movements, one, one for cigarettes and one for beer. Oh, hold on. I just recovered a big chunk of my memory from the meeting. They did, in fact, do quite a bit of other stuff. Like? Uh, there were these people. I may have discussed this already. There were these people who were here for... Uh, oh, you know, the, the line between pre-meeting, pre-show meeting and show is blurring so heavily at this point. 
uh, we're probably just it better better if we don't listen to well, the whole thing and know what we did wrong. Technically, we we're still having the pre-show meeting, <laughs> and I think part of the post-show meeting. You're probably right. So uh, they there was there were these there was this couple here, not here. There was this couple at the meeting, and uh, they were there to discuss. They were there to get permission for uh, for getting a portable tent, not tent. Why did Shed? I say tent? Shed. Shed is it? the word I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, it's the only thing I could think of that you'd need a building permit well, for. What was what was their name? Uh, Erickson. Okay. Okay. And this, uh, the reason they needed the shed was because the guy had a midlife crisis where he bought himself a motorcycle, but he has a uh, one car garage which he couldn't fit it in, and uh, he isn't a good carpenter these were his words <laughs> by the way this is this is what he was telling he him said that he had a midlife crisis he bought a motorcycle couldn't fit in the garage and that he was a bad carpenter so he went on craigslist and uh got himself a portable shed <laughs> fair enough so so this is a building permit yeah so they approved a building permit that wasn't on the agenda yes they did any any other building permits there was another building permit for uh a garage i think for a Larry Coon. And then uh they, And they they approved that. Yes. Not on the uh not on the agenda. No, it was not. Were there any other building permits? There was a permit for this thing. Uh, there was a there was something to do with a stone sign for the city of Lytton. Uh Oh no, that's not a permit. I know they've they talked about permit. that in the past. Oh, okay. Let me actually. I think I might know this one. They uh, they're trying to they're trying to wreck these signs in Linton. You know, like the city signs that say "Welcome to Linton, yeah. Welcome to Linton." Yeah. So there's uh, the council lady is working with this guy named Kurt, who's a contractor, and uh, she was discussing getting the. Yes, the mic is there. Uh, discusses with him getting the stone and how much it'll cost and doesn't tell him to get the stone, but he gets the stone. Doesn't tell the contractor to get the stone. Doesn't tell him to get the stone. Okay. But he gets the stone anyway, kind of forcing her hand into working with him specifically for this sign when actually she was considering working with somebody else. And uh, the way they... They're, the way that she thinks they might pay for the signs is that there's this grant that she that she thinks she might be able to get uh, a grant from the Sac County Endowment. Well, she's already... I mean, let me see if I got this right. I think she's actually on the SETD, which uh, sort of nepotistically shares... Uh, that's not the right word. Bunch of letters. <laughs> I mean, nothing Share, to me. Shares stuff with the uh, the Sac County Endowment. So they've got that grant for that sign. Are you talking about the uh, the other sign? Okay, picture it. Now, Linton is kind of unique. Linton is kind of unique. And here's the issue as I understand it. There's two signs. One is on the Sac County side. One is on the Calhoun County side. The Sac County Endowment Foundation, do I have that right? would uh, happily pay for a sign because, I don't know, they were doing signs this year uh, on, the, on the Sac County side. What are they doing on the, Sac, on the Calhoun County side? They are also going to try to get a grant from the Sac County side because most of Lytton is in Sac County. Interesting. Also, the museum might want the old signs. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's that coming from? Well... Uh, somebody brought up that somebody had spoken to somebody about wanting the signs. <laughs> is, that, is that their words? Somebody had spoken to somebody? No, those are my words. Uh, <laughs> I think some lady from the museum may have talked, may have, may have talked, may have spoke to the mayor about getting the sign. And then the woman who was working on getting the sign may have also heard from this woman, but had assumed that she was joking about wanting the sign. So they're going to check into that. Oh, what the hell? I mean, yeah, 
get to see the old sign at the museum. Yeah. And either they were just going to throw it away anyway. I'm not disparaging their museum, but how much uh, how much history of Lytton do you suppose is in there? Probably a lot. Oh, well. It's a, a good, decent amount. Probably. So, uh, so what else happened? Um, well, let's see. On the uh, on the agenda is the how they're going to finance the the new loader that they approved last month. Oh, this is a bunch of numbers. I'm going to have problems with this. Oh, I think you could definitely handle this better than I would. Uh, let's, uh, there's let's there's, review the tape and I'll just read it off. Here we go. An, okay, uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Okay, we're back. Uh, okay, here's the deal. You are useless with numbers, by the way. What a what uh, a session well, that was, there's, ladies and gentlemen. That was the worst half hour of our life. Okay, here's the deal. They've got uh, they've got an, a loader that costs ninety four thousand eight hundred sixty dollars. They have eighty six thousand dollars in the bank. What they're going to do is they're going to put fifteen k down from that account right now and take delivery of the loader this month. Then in July, after the Fiscal year is up. They're going to take another fifteen thousand out of the road use fund. Oh, whoops! Now who's who? Bad. <laughs> no, no, you're right. Oh man, numbers are the worst. Numbers are the worst. The bottom line is, and a combination out of the road use fund, out of the bank account, over the course of the two fiscal years, they're going to end up taking seventy five thousand out of uh, those funds, the water, sewer, and general funds. To pay for this thing, and then they'll have nineteen thousand left to pay, which will come out of the road use fund in the spring of two thousand twelve. The loader is going to be delivered in the last week of June, and that is that. Wow, that was a struggle. Yes, it was. Oh, I hope we never have to tell stories with with that more many numbers. numbers. In it. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, people of Lytton, uh, people of Lytton, you're not going to be you're not going to be paying a big bond. They're, they've got the money. That's the bottom line. So the last thing on the agenda is uh, nothing. Nothing else on the agenda. Did nope. they talk about anything no. else? I don't think they did. That's they might it? have. But that's, that's the I, meeting? I don't recall. What would you think? No comment. No comment. It was okay. It was very boring. But then again, most of these things are. All right. Well, you have uh, just heard, for better or worse, if you made it this far into it, our very first podcast. Could you tell? <laughs> For uh, uh, June 6, 2011, Lytton City Council meeting. And hey, if you appreciate the coverage that the SAC News brings you, man, go to the Amazon banner, click on the Amazon banner, buy stuff from Amazon. The SAC News makes money for every purchase that you do. Thanks for listening. See you next time uh, with the Oval City Council. Woo!